Hello everyone, today we'll dive into various relation tools perfect for streamlining our workflow in crafting animations, making virtual events and much more. But before we dive in, let me introduce myself. I am a video game designer and web metaverse artist with over 7 years of experience. I am of the founder of Marco Virtual MX, a creative team specialized in creating virtual events in the metaverse. ActorCore provides me with the facility to add avatars and animate them in these scenarios create motion videos or even integrate them into the web metaverse. On our website, you can see more of our work to promote the metaverse. We promote the web metaverse, artificial intelligence and practical tools to create quality 3D content. We are in other social networks like TikTok and YouTube as Marco Virtual MX. So great, let's head over to ActorCore and kick off our tutorial. Today, we learn more about the workflow for creating an animated event for a beachfront apartment party. But first, let's explore ActorCore's extensive library of avatars. Here, we can find avatars that perfectly fit the theme of our party. In my favorites, we already saved the actors I'm going to use as the base for our party. Let me show you something really impressive about ActorCore. It's wet viewer. You can inspect each avatar in detail including a wide variety of accessories and clothing options. If you wish to adjust the lightning in the environment, you can choose from various styles to quickly visualize how your actor will look in your project's lightning setup. You can also switch between different integrated animations. Thanks to careful recreation, each actor boasts realistic PBR shading. That's compatible with various game engines like Unity or Unreal. In this video, we'll learn how to edit this and other animations using Icon 8 and Blender. Once we selected our actor, it's simple. Clicking Download and choosing the target application, Icon 8 or Character Creator 4. Let's learn how to get this actor acquired but directly in Icon 8. This is Icon 8 main interface. To access our resources, let's navigate to the pack section. Here, you'll find the resources needed to create our lighting and effects. You'll discover different pre-light environments, perfect for each situation. Let's choose a basic one to introduce our actor. As you can see, the lightning and the 3D are set automatically. To move the camera, you can use the Alt key and right-click to rotate it in the direction of our cursor. For camera panning, simply switch to left-click. Now, let's return to our content panel. To find our actor, we need to go to item and navigate to the bottom where you find the purchased item category. Here, you'll see every item obtained from the web library. This is fantastic because there's no need to download. Let's select our actor and drag them into the 3D Studio floor. This allows to quickly position our actor precisely where we want. We can already see how great our actor looks, with reflections on the glazes and the skin and clothing materials in PBR. Our base avatar is ready. In the same category, you can find other actors or animations acquired through Actor Core. Enter Dance in the search bar at the top of our panel, and it will display dance-related resources. They are two, I like, but I chose this one. The process is the same. Select with a click and drag it onto the avatar. The animation is applied, and now we can head to the animation playback area and hit the play button. This is where the magic of the program shines, as in just a few seconds we created a realistic actor, integrated animation, and now we have them in real time. Once the animation finishes, close the playback and use the mouse wheel to scroll down the timeline. Here, you can see the animation clip. The zoom tool will help you a better view. It's essential to start playback from the beginning to seamlessly add another animation. This is a useful tip that can save you a lot of hassle. Now, let's add another actor who can accompany our friend. Here's their banner. Select them and right click to position them beside our main actor. You'll see that they load correctly. Now let's apply a talking animation. I'll choose this one, add it to the actor. We just need to rotate our character. For this, we use the rotating tool, which displays the tray axis in different colors. We rotate on the blue axis to orient the actor correctly. 
You can also switch between global or local rotation simply by double pressing the corresponding key. But before that, let me change the lightning to something better. Let me try this one. I think it's better. It removes the reflection on the floor, provides a uniform background, and the lightning makes this actor stand out. Let's try the animation again. Looks really great. We can move on on the next step. Now, let's search a DJ to liven up the party. I prefer this one. I live in the viewer and look for a DJ animation. Let's see how they look. They look great and are working on the console, which we already have on our stage. Later, we learn how to edit it in iClone 8. Here we are in iClone and we're going to import our base environment. In this case, the apartment for the party. I recommend using the FBX format. When this prompt appears, you can choose Yes. Our set is ready, and now we place our actors. On the right panel, we can control the focal length from various angles. With the movement and the rotation tool, we can position ourselves at the DJ console. Remember to stay in the item panel and at the bottom of the list. Select Purchased Items. Here, we find our Purchased DJ. Select it and drag it onto the stage floor. Now we can move it and position it on the front of the console. In the same panel, let's search for DJ, and we find the animations we acquired. In this case, they do that we're in the library. Let's drag it onto the actor and see the animation. It's placed it correctly on the surface. And we can move it and rotate it, so that the right hand is close to the controls. It needs to be moved a bit backward, and the hand closer. Now it's much better. The hand is close to the volume control. We can animate it, so that the fingers are on the control. I'll show you how. iClone 8 has an essential feature. You can find it under Animation and choose Edit Motion Layer. Here, we can control every point of our actor rig. We can enable and disable various types of gizmos for the bones. Move it slightly toward a volume control and play the animation a bit. We see that it stays in place for a moment, but then moves. Let's go back and adjust the position so that it stays in place longer. As the animation progresses, we adjust the hand shake to keep it on the control. I manage to keep it there until it releases the control. And the animation continues. It makes some dance moves and returns to the console. Here, we continue with the adjustment. Here, we can adapt the hand to hold both controls and make other variations for a scratch. Let's quickly see how to achieve this animation with iClone 8. Let's resume to see how we adjusted two identical animations to extend the DJ's duration. Let's save our project with Ctrl plus S and see our complete animation. There's a few elements to correct, but overall, I like it. I add a new actor to dance on this stage. Let's place them near the DJ and explore some interesting animations. Let's choose this one and adjust the position again so that they are close and in front of the DJ dancing. Now it makes more visual sense. Let's find a dance animation and add it to it. Now with the movement tools, we place it near our DJ. Looks very nice. They are really enjoying the music. I'm going to add other characters living up this room. Now I have many more actors in the scene, but let's create an interesting interaction with two people. Here, this actor who is going to greet someone. But let's orient them better to face the front. Here, I also the frame actor with the same animation, but facing the other way. Let me show you how this is coming along. Alright, let's adjust a bit more. Here, we're in a better approximation, because we have both hands close. Let's move a little more to the left and see how it looks.
it's better. But thanks to the motion layer, we can achieve precise adjustments in the hands during the fist pump. You can make it easy and intuitive to move each point of the rig wherever you want. And the body will follow this change. Now that we have the wrist close, it looks great. Let's see another element we can add to our scene, special actors. To find them, we need to go to pack, then select actor from the category list. I will find our catering. This set is available on Actor Core for you to acquire. Once downloaded, you can see these are several type of actors. Dresses as waiters, ready to drag and drop onto our stage. Remember, before integrating animations, make sure to be at the beginning of our timeline. So make the animation seamlessly integrate. Here, we already added a conversation, but I'd like to show you an excellent option. That will give you animations more realism. And that look at, click on the pick touch it, and select where you want the conversation avatar to look. And that's it. Now, during the animation, let's look at the other actor. Let's try with this pair. We select the actor, we go to look at and have two options. Either the actor looks at the camera or looks at a target. The same for our actress. Pick target and look at. Now, let's review. It much better. We'll apply the same process to the actors near the DJ, so they look directly at him, enhancing the sense realms. Once our animations are ready, we have to the scene panel. There, we have all participating actors. We select them and are prepared them for export. We go to File, Export, and choose the FVX format. The settings for this project are compatible with Blender. Find a folder, and you're ready to go. While it exports, let's prepare our scene in Blender. Here, I apply the technique of lightning in Eevee, and use an irradiance volume to capture shadows, reflections, and other details of the scene. To ensure your material reflections capture the surroundings, you need to use Reflection Cube Map in Eevee. It's a perfect option to enhance the quality of your work. I obtained materials through Blender Kit, an excellent tool for getting resources quickly. The likes are the default ones in Blender. I put more effort into the interior design, and it looks like my dream beach for apartment. It's ready to host the party. Here, I imported our FBX using the Charity Creator Pipeline add-on. This add-on imports each actor separately, with various options like Rigify, Lights, or Physics. I've created various shots using Blender camera system, especially with animations of all kinds. I took it them using the motion layer tools. Camera changes in Blender are highly useful for controlling the duration of each shot. The actors in Actor Core provide great ease when creating virtual events. They are well optimized and their additional plugins or tools allow you to achieve impressive results in just a few clicks, which will otherwise take much longer. I hope you had a chance to get to know this tool better. And as it has become indispensable for me when producing content for my clients in high quality projects, let's render this animation to see our result. I leave you with the specifications of the equipment I use for this excellent project. Many thanks to Revolution for the opportunity to discover this fantastic tool. And thank you for watching this tutorial.